to the study of mycology with the topic sexual reproduction in fungi so as we all know asexual reproduction has mitosis as a main concept sexual reproduction basic principle please remember it includes plasmogamy karyogamy and meiosis okay so before these events happen like plasmogamy karyogamy meiosis what is plasmogamy fusion of cytoplasm so two different um, fungi will fuse with the cytoplasm plasmogamy karyogamy fusion of nucleus meiosis the reduction division okay so first let us look into the different types of the sexual reproduction which will include the three concepts what we discuss the plasmogamy karyogamy and meiosis okay so if you are seeing this the first one is called as pleno gametic copulation then the gametangial contact gametangial copulation spermatization somatogamy i have do some pictures for this i will show you some pictures i think with the pictures you understand it more faster so pleno gametic copulation means the gametes are uh, meeting in the environment like water the spores which are flagellated come and fuse with each other gametangial contact and gametangial copulation includes the major sex organs here major gametangial contact is the sex organs the male and the female sex organ will come closer and brings a fusion okay first it's a contact gametangial copulation involves a, a concept where that uh, there's no prominent sex organs but they have some similar sex organs produced but uh, called as plus and minus male and female but there's a copulation here spermatization means the spore is released from a structure and the spore is reaching another uh, uh, mycelium of a different genetics and brings a fusion somatogamy involves two different fungi of two different see please remember sexual reproduction involves genetics of two different fungi okay the i think you learned about what is hyphae you learned what is um, thallus and all right so the hyphae is different genetically they are different and they bring a sexual reproduction concept okay so let us look into these aspects of uh, sexual reproduction with the help of some pictures okay so coming here the first one pleno gametic copulation okay pleno gametic copulation means the uh, two different uh, spores genetically variant okay with the flagella come and meet and bring a fusion what do you see here isogamous and isogamous terminologies isogamous means can you guess it the cells are similar the gametes are similar and isogamous the gametes are dissimilar they are not similar okay so the male and female we cannot differentiate them two genetically different uh, gametes come and meet okay for isogamous example is synchytrium and for anisogamous example is allomyces these are lower fungi i'll come to the next session will be about the classification you'll clearly understand what all we are involving here as an example comes there where does it come okay this comes in a lower fungi so pleno gametic copulation occurs in lower fungi mostly the aquatic fungi because they swim in the water and bring about a reproduction okay so the second type is called as a gametangial contact why we call it heterogamous heterogamous terminology is used here heterogamous mean the sex organs are different okay and you can see that here this is whatever you are seeing is i'll just give one picture to understand this is the female sex organ which is globose in nature female sex organ can be called ascogonium and it's also called oogonium depends on the class in classification you will know that oogonium is in the oomycetes class Ascogonium is in the ascomycetes class. Okay, so please remember, I have taken an example of aspergillus and penicillin, which is related to your syllabus. So in your syllabus, you have these two forms to study. So I have taken up ascogonium. Okay, no? So ascogonium is a female sex organ. Antheridium is a male sex organ. So here you can find these are all antheridium. What you are seeing is antheridium, and this is the female sex organ. Okay, this is a male sex organ. right so what happens actually here 
so whenever there's a female sex organ developed whether it is homothallic or heterothallic is irrespective you learned homothallic means same thallus uh, both organs are produced both sex organs are produced heterothallism means two different thallus entirely here i try to show you that methodology see one is of a brown color one is of a pink color okay indicating heterothallic condition two different thallus okay so you can find antheridia developing very close by so many antheridias are developed one of them will be successful in bringing a sexual reproduction so what is this happening gametangial contact please remember there is a lot of controversy over this particular topic aspergillus comes under now ascomycetes class earlier it was under deutromycetes class deutromycetes class is said to be lacking sexual reproduction here also it's only a contact it's only triggering the ascogonium it's not directly involving the reproduction it's only triggering this it triggers the ascogonium to bring about a differentiation in the genetics uh, you'll be learning that later dikaryotization please remember there's something called dikaryotization which is induced by the antheridium okay please remember gametangial contact is two sex organs which are male and female coming in contact the male is triggering the ascogonium to differentiate the its nuclei so that it will produce ascospores that's why the term uh, ascomycetes class comes anyway we will discuss that when we come to the classification also the third type is called as a gametangial copulation do you find any difference here in the sex organs no that's why it's indicated plus and minus so one plus strain one minus strain okay genetically variant is is developing a uniformity in the uh, progametangium okay it's called progametangium then it differentiates one nucleus of each is come from both of the sides of the mycelium this is one one nuclei present with the uh, stalk this is called gametangial proper and eventually what you are seeing here is getting fused it's growing and getting fused okay after fusion what has happened plasmogamy next what's going to happen these two nuclei will fuse karyogamy okay so karyogamy these two nuclei are getting fused and these are actually haploid becoming now diploid to n the structure after fusion this whole structure is modified into a zygospore you can see a diploid nucleus with a zygospore outer exine inner intine exine is rough intine is smooth okay this is zygospore the zygospore drops down and it can remain in the soil or anywhere for long time and it can regenerate a new mycelium typical example is rhizopus please students remember we have already learned rhizopus half the way rhizopus asexual reproduction with sporangium you have learned and rhizopus sexual reproduction also you have learned with the formation of zygospore okay and that is why rhizopus belongs to zygomycetes class because of zygospore formation it comes under zygomycetes class okay coming to the next one spermatization so you can see that the uh, typical example is paxenia so you can see that the uh, spores are produced uh, sexually and those spores are released into the atmosphere or in the water and they come and uh, fuse with uh, uh, another hyphae both the nuclei fuse so this is called as a sperm means of different genetics comes and fuses with this and this is called spermatization the fifth one is somatogamy somatogamy is a concept where you come across two different uh, genetically different uh, strains coming closer and then uh, one of the cells will show some protrusion and fusion and thus becoming diploid so this concept is called somatogamy found in agaricus and Uh, all the mushrooms basidiomycetes we can find this i'll be teaching you this when i go to the classification you will know little more about this plus so uh, let's look back i've tried to just give you a brief idea about the sexual reproduction i've given you a basic exposure to this topic okay what are the different types of uh, sexual reproduction coming back pleogametic copulation where you have isogamous and anisogamous types gametangial contact the sex organs are uh, different they come in contact and uh, help in uh, reproduction forming uh, ascospores the typical example is aspergillus gametangial copulation rhizopus is an example the sex organ is not prominent but plus and minus strains come closer and brings a fusion spermatization which is found in paxenia and somatogamy which is found in the 
basidomyces class. Okay, so please remember, deutermyces class doesn't have sexual reproduction. Very important. At the end of the session, you should remember this. Deutermyces are called as uh, fungi imperfect type, imperfect fungi also because they lack the sexual reproduction. Okay, example Fusarium. It doesn't have sexual reproduction. Few other fungi to name: Alternaria, Cladosporium. These all come under Deutermyces, imperfect fungi. Okay, only the Ascomycetes, Zygomycetes, Ascomycetes, and Basidomycetes will show the sexual reproduction in the higher fungi. In the lower fungi, they do have the Coomycetes class. Okay, I've just gone to tell you briefly about the uh, concept and also try to relate the classes now. Okay, so that you will get familiar in the next session where I'm teaching you about the different classes in the sense the basics of classification of fungi okay so thank you go back to the points see them and i'll be sending you some questions try to answer them and uh, uh, we'll come to know and we can discuss if any doubts are there regarding this okay thank you students